What signs or symptoms should people look out for that means they could have an STI? A lot of the time, STIs do not have any symptoms, which is why it's really important to check. So a lot of the time someone's like, oh, I don't need to do a test because I'm fine. And actually you could be walking around with gonorrhea and chlamydia and you don't know. Don't want to scare you, but this is why it's very important to do regular <laughs> testing. Um, but if you did have symptoms and you had an STI, the common symptoms are sort of unusual discharge that's different from normal. That's someone with a vagina or a penis. Um, might have unusual discharge. There might be sort of discomfort, pain, itching. There might be um, pain passing urine. Um, if, if it's an STI like genital warts or herpes, you might have um, like a sore or an ulcer or like a weird lump that you need to get checked out. Yeah. So would you say that the home testing kits would be like a first port of call? Definitely. So we have people who... Um, message in saying, I've got pain during sex. And we say, do an STI screen. And they're like, I don't need to do one. I've had the same partner for three years. I'm not at risk. And it's like, even if you think you're really, really low risk, if you haven't changed partners or you think you did a test, like, oh, I did a test a year ago and I haven't had sex since. Did you do that test correctly? You might have tested too soon because it takes two weeks for infections to show up in a test from when you've had sex. So always remember to test accurately as well. <laughs> That's a good little tip. Yeah. <laughs>